Hello and welcome to another Axis Accountants Zero Training video. My name is Will Wood and I'm going to show you today the reporting function in Zero. As you can see I'm already in the reports uh, section and if you just click reports all reports you'll see the reports. Now there are a number of reports in Zero that are standard which are excellent. In fact they cover 99.9% .9 of everything you're going to need to report on. As you can see some of the reports have a star next to them. If you want to access a report very quickly you just click this star and what that does is it puts the report in this main menu. So if there's, there's reports that you don't use very often you can do that and it minimizes the list and you can quickly um, get to the reports that you need. Now I just want to take you through some of the reports I use on a regular basis. A good report is this executive summary report. And what this does, it gives you all the key information about your business um, at the touch of a button. So if I click that on October, you can see I've got two months comparative of total cash received, total cash spent, I've got some profitability ratios, um, I've got my gross profit margin, and my net profit margin, and I can instantly see if there's any issues that need investigating. That's a very good overview report. As usual with most um, zero reports, we can export them very easily to Excel. And there we have it. And you can publish the reports for sending on. Now when you click publish, you can actually add a title to your report, you can add some narrative and change some of the um, preferences and you can see that there's the report that I've just printed and I can download that and there it is for you to see. So it does make a very good overview document to give to someone. So that's the executive summary report. The next report that's very good is your profit and loss. Profit and loss is income, less cost equals gross profits, less overheads equals net profits. As you can see, this format is a very user-friendly format to get a good overview of your monthly financial performance. The way I use this report is to look at trends in costs, to spot errors in posting or to spot um, miss. Um, sent invoices or just to stop spot problems. So if it, this this is the demo company, but if I was looking at this, I would look for I've got the fact that I've got eight thousand three hundred ninety six pounds here under salaries in October, and I've got nothing in the previous two months. And then I would think to myself, where have we been putting salaries in the previous months? I would have a quick look in there to make sure they're not all dumped into one month. And that looks like exactly like what's happened here. Um, and then I would make my appropriate adjustments. So the profit and loss is a very good overview report. In the profit and loss section, we've also got the compare regions report. This is where the regions that you have posted invoices against, or departments, or cost headings, or job costing reports would sit. So you can see exactly how in this case how each area is performing and get a detailed profit and loss for each area so you can see east side is making a loss and you'd want to investigate why that's happening now that's sitting at between April and November we can actually change the date range on that report just to October and there we've got Eastside's October report. And you can see the reason it was showing a loss potentially was that there's no sales booked against it. So if you think there were definitely sales, we then look, go and look to see if an invoice has been posted that hasn't been allocated. The next report that I use is the aged receivables. And this is money that you're likely to receive um, and on an aged basis. So we can see which customers are paying us uh, fastest and which customers are taking their time. 
I use this report as a basis for my credit control once a week to make sure that I've sent out statements and copies of invoice to slow payers. So we've got here city limousines and we might want to go into city lim limousines and look at their payment history and we can see that every single invoice is out overdue. So we dig into a, an invoice, go to city limousines and then from city limousines account send them a statement. Zero produces a statement and then you can email that directly from the software. Hi Marty, please pay me. And then we can send that invoice off to Marty, a uh, statement off to Marty. So that's the receivables report, reports, age receivable, and it's very useful for finding out um, who owes you money. Not so useful, but still a good way to check whether things have been posted correctly is the payables report. And we can just check to make sure that we've paid um, everyone appropriately. And you can see that this central copiers 160. And the way we use this report is just to highlight to the customers that we bookkeep for um, any outstanding supplier invoices. Now quite often what happens is they will tell us well we know we paid that and then we can also highlight errors in our bookkeeping or quite often they pay the invoice personally and it will just sit on here and not be dealt with in the correct way. So it's a good report for that. Finally a necessary report is the VAT return. Now one of the advantages over any bookkeeping system um, and zero is no exception rather than a spreadsheet is the fact that your VAT return is going to be a byproduct of the data that you enter. Often with a spreadsheet the VAT return is the reason you enter the data and you can't get all of the other reports. With zero and a lot of other bookkeeping packages the VAT return is a byproduct and, you can, and the reason you enter the data is to manage your business. And for me, that is definitely the right way round. So the VAT return has got a summary page and it's got a details page that's got all the different types of VAT that you can charge and, you, uh, and that you claim. And then you can, again, you, when reviewing this report, you can just spot errors and make adjustments and again because it's zero you can drill into the actual transaction that you've made and just check that that's correct and if it's not co correct you can edit the transaction there and then rather than uh, a really complicated way of dealing with these transactions it's very easy to drill through and get to where you want to go so that's my video about the reporting on zero if you go onto my website which is www.accessltd.co.uk all of these videos are on our blog plus I've added a page where I'm going to add these all the videos in one place and it's called help with zero and you can see our first two videos there are why you need zero and posting a sales invoice and this will be sort of a central place for these practical zero help videos so thank you very much and don't forget that we can actually help set up Xero for you or we can give you some training on how to use it. I mean it's very user friendly but we can train you if you're stuck and we can actually manage your bookkeeping um, in half the time it takes for you to do it or for other traditional bookkeepers to do it. So if you want any help with Xero or bookkeeping or accounts please visit our website or email will at axisltd.co.uk. Thank you.